getting a coat, you know, it's something that we all take for granted, but right. there are lots of families out there, uh, you know, who might not be able to afford it. So great yes. that those kids are going to be ready to go for when we do need those winter oh, coats. Now, I I, not this morning. No, not this morning. It's not feeling too bad. It's actually feeling a little bit warmer than yesterday. So yeah. whatever you wore yesterday, you can wear today or wear something similar to that. Uh, temperatures are actually going to be quite seasonal this afternoon. This morning, they're starting off in the low to mid 50s for areas around the metro and northward. You can see a temperature, though, just under 60 in Annapolis and Stevensville also dropped off into the upper 50s this morning, 52 up towards Elkton. So overall, we're about five to 10 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. And it is because we still have some of those clouds lingering and light winds out of the northwest. But yes, today is Friday the 13th. A big fan of today. Uh, we're actually going to be creeping it seasonal this afternoon. Temperatures are going to climb into the upper 60s to near that 70 degree mark. And we have a gourd amount of sunshine expected for today. See what I did there? Uh, taking a look at satellite and radar this morning. Not a whole lot happening across the mid-Atlantic, but it's going to look a lot different over the next 24 to even 36 hours. We have this storm system that's impacting the upper parts of the Midwest, especially the Dakotas, Nebraska, even down towards Kansas and Iowa. It's spreading some not only rain showers, but producing some thunderstorms that is going to head right in our direction. It's going to move in from west to east. It's also going to merge with some moisture developing across the southeast coast of the United States. So we do have some wet weather to look forward to heading into the weekend, but some of this rain is actually going to be beneficial. And I know the flowers, the plants are going to be very excited for that. So we start things off dry right around sunrise tomorrow. Again, staying dry throughout the day today, but then by late morning, here's the timestamp, 11 o'clock, we could see this rain start to slide in across our northwesternmost communities first. So the, uh, the forecast is still on track from what it was showing yesterday. It looks a little bit more widespread through the afternoon. This persists throughout the evening commute and also throughout dinner time. And we look at periods of moderate to heavy rain overnight into your Sunday morning. And this is the time period where we could experience a few runoffs rumbles of thunder. The good news, the severe weather threat is looking to be low and then we dry things out heading into your Sunday afternoon as that system moves offshore. But this is going to have a very big impact on our temperatures. We drop off into the 60s this weekend and we stay in the 60s throughout much of next week. So rainfall amounts could add up to about an inch when it's all said and done, but there could be some localized amounts that receive up to two inches. So that's really going to be the case along the immediate Bay Breeze boundaries and also up and down the eastern shore. So your seven day forecast dropping off into the 60s this weekend, mostly dry start to next week. A few isolated rain chances on Tuesday, but looking drier for the Maryland five star at Fair Hill on Thursday afternoon. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you.